Because of their high levels of intuition and sensitivity, INFJs are regarded as being empathetic and effective communicators. They prefer predictability and order in their surroundings, but they also rely on their intuition when they are alone to make decisions. This time we'll discuss Sigma INFJs in particular and how they differ from INFJ empaths. Do you know the differences between Sigma INFJs and INFJ empaths? There are many movies and informative materials about these topics. As a result, the question, are Sigma males INFJ personality types, is the focus of today's screenplay. Whether or not these differences are apparent to the unaided eye, they can significantly affect how they live their daily lives. How precisely do their traits differ from one another? We'll compare the traits of Sigma INFJs to those of INFJ empaths and share them with you. You will be able to comprehend both personas better in this manner. Number 1. INFJs in the Sigma group speak out frequently. People's opinions of Sigma INFJs don't truly concern them. If they believed it was necessary, they would voice their concerns in a loud, clear manner. INFJ empaths, on the other hand, would likely be more private with their thoughts. In order to keep the peace and not offend anyone, they try to do the opposite. They simply detest turmoil. They have no need to be frightened to face others. They find it difficult to manage the confusion, and they worry that they will become agitated. Sigma INFJs dislike chaos and avoid needless conflict in a similar way, but when the need arises, they have the ability to release their internal stress. They frequently decide to use their truthfulness in expressing their ideas as a way to release this internal tension. They don't hesitate to confront those who disagree with them. They are not interested in how people feel. They are simply interested in putting the truths out there for the world to see. Number two. They don't want their progress to be interrupted, so Sigma INFJs desire privacy and invisibility. INFJ empaths, on the other hand, must continuously exercise caution to avoid losing who they are while working to squeeze out a more peaceful existence for everyone. Since they don't want to risk getting wounded or distracted while making crucial advancements, Sigma INFJs always want to wait until the disturbance has subsided before joining the conflict. Because they already have a large agenda, they do not need to be a part of anything significant. Even during the worst storms, it is their responsibility to maintain their composure and stability. For the sake of being a hero, they cannot put steady advancement at risk by adopting and resolving someone else's issues. They naturally want to assist others, yet they prioritize other matters. INFJ empaths, on the other hand, are dying for this. It is more than simply a goal for them. It is the fundamental reason they exist, to bring color to people's lives and truly change the world. Despite having extremely distinct perspectives and conversational styles, both INFJs possess a wide range of special abilities that touch people's hearts and surprise the world. These variations in no way lessen their significance. Number 3. Narcissists' worst fears are Sigma INFJs. The biggest difference between the two is probably how much more self-centered individuals are drawn to INFJ empaths and Sigma INFJs. INFJ empaths are virtually bound to meet toxic people who simply want to use and manipulate them because of their tender hearts and compassionate nature. Sigma empaths, on the other hand, are naturally opposed to self-absorbed individuals, making it nearly impossible for them to see them as dangers. The difference is that... Even if they have the ability to destroy the narcissistic individual's pride and burn their ego, Sigma INFJs do so right away, even before the arrogant individual can introduce themselves. Self-absorbed individuals have no chance of overcoming anything about the Sigma INFJ. INFJ empaths, on the other hand, have to go through the pain in order to learn their lessons. Number 4. They have a strong curiosity. A Sigma INFJ's insatiable curiosity keeps them up at night. When it comes to learning what kids want to know, they have no boundaries. Despite their extensive knowledge, they do not want to presume that they have learned everything there is to know. They believe that there is no end to their quest for wisdom and knowledge, which is why they disapprove of those who rush to judgment without first attempting to comprehend the underlying factors at play. They devote a lot of time to enhancing their lives and developing their skills. 
Therefore, Sigma INFJs are the type of people whose time is so valuable that others find it difficult to keep up with their speed. Number 5. INFJ Empaths and Sigma INFJs require various amounts of alone time. INFJ empaths often require more isolation than Sigma INFJs, mostly because they have already become overwhelmed by the drama of the world and the emotions of other people. INFJ empaths need to take care of themselves and let go of the mental weight that has been dragging them down all day. Sigma INFJs, on the other hand, are drawn to solitude because it is their preferred setting for retreat. INFJ empaths invest a lot of time and effort in hearing the worries and emotions of others. They take pleasure in serving as the tools of heaven to meet the emotional needs of humans. However, a Sigma INFJ needs time alone to gather and complete their thoughts, calm down, and have fun as a person. It is also a location where they can feel comfortable and genuinely express who they are. Number 6. They rebel against being restrained. Someone attempting to alter the standards and beliefs of a Sigma INFJ is wasting their time since they will never let someone take control of their life or change their course. And if they did, they would immediately oust that person from it. As a result of their self-confidence, Sigma INFJs are willing to take charge of their own work and resist outside interference. Because they are competent, they can stand alone with ease. They simply want to be liberated from the obligations and norms of society. So they go on to establish their own set of guidelines and expectations that no one, not even their family, can impose. It is particularly difficult for their partners to influence them to make a change or take action. Because they will never compromise when they disagree with something, Sigma INFJs may find it difficult to accept their partner's decisions. Number 7. INFJs with the Sigma personality type are independent and successful. INFJ empaths aggressively work to set themselves apart from the emotional world of others when it comes to emotional attachment. Sigma INFJs, on the other hand, are completely unaware of it. Sigma empaths pride themselves on being very independent and self-sufficient and on being able to take care of their own requirements without the help of others. But before they become desperate enough, to give up whatever it is that keeps them up at night. INFJ empaths must first experience a period of psychological burnout. INFJ empaths have a tendency to see the positive side of everything. Therefore, up until the point at which they are harmed, they will exert every effort to ease others' suffering without seeing that they are gradually sacrificing themselves. Number 8. They are in charge here. Most likely you're asking how Sigma INFJs can dominate the entire space despite not being the alpha. They do, however, exert dominance in a very different manner. Sigma INFJs draw attention by going about their own business and letting go of other people's expectations in order to be more effective and productive, in contrast to alpha personality types, who draw attention by expressively expressing their opinions. They attract people's attention because they give the impression of being enigmatic, quiet workers who appear to be clandestine specialists in their respective fields. Unless someone challenges them or asks them to speak, they keep their knowledge to themselves. When they are ready to do so, however, those around them are sometimes taken aback by how smart they actually are. These characteristics make them comparable, but Sigma INFJs are the men of their own league. Although others may find them strange or arrogant, they don't give much thought to what people think of them. Instead of wasting their time and energy on pointless social events with strangers, they are more successful because they spend more time reflecting and investigating fresh ideas. How do you feel about these attributes? Please share your thoughts in the comment area. Take care until the next time.